Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Math School. In this channel, I am going to teach you Karnataka Board Class 10th SLC Insert Math. In today's video, let us learn example problems from the topic Fundamental Theorem of Arithmetic from chapter number 8, Real Numbers. So let us start with the example number 5, which says, Consider the natural number 4 power n, where n is a natural number. Check whether there is any value of n for which 4 power n ends with the digit 0. Let us first of all understand the question here. The question says we have to find the value of n such that after giving the value n, we have to obtain a number whose last digit must end with 0. Okay, we have to obtain a number whose last digit must be 0. Okay, where n can be any natural number like 1, 2, 3, extending up to infinity. For example, if we give n as value 1, 4 power 1 we will get as 4. If we give as number 2, 4 square will be 16. If we give n as 3, 4 into 4 into 4 is 64. Okay, to find a value of n such that the number what we get has to have the last digit as 0. Okay, first of all, let us find out the prime factors for any number whose last digit ends with 0. For example, if we consider 10, find the prime factors of 10. So, 2 5s are 10, 5 1s are. So, what are the factors of 10? 2 into 5. Likewise, if we find the factors of 20, Again, we have a number 20 whose last digit is 0. So, finding its factors, we can obtain 2 1s are 0 comes down, 2 5s are 10, 5 1s are. So, factors are 2 into 2 into 5. Likewise, if we consider that the number 100, again, and we find the factors here, 2 5s are 10, come, 0 comes down, 2 2s are 4 carry 1, 2 5s are 10, so 5 5s are 25 and 5 1s are 5. So what are the factors of 100? 2 into 2 into 5 into 5. So here if you observe any number which ends with the digit 0 has the factors 2 and 5 common. Okay, any number which ends with 0 should have factors 2 and 5. We can observe from this here. So, coming to our number 4 power n, let us first of all find the factors of 4. What are the factors of 4? If we divide 4, 2 2s are 4, 2 1s are. So, factors of 4 are 2 into 2. So, we can write power n. From here, we can see that the factors of 4 are 2 on only 2. But for any number to end with a digit 0, we have to have the factors 2 and 5. So, from this we can say that if we give any value to n, we won't be able to obtain a number whose uh, last digit will be 0. Okay, so this is actually the solution which I have explained you. Let me write down the solution to this question here. The number if the number 4 power n for any n were to end with digit 0 were to end with digit 0 then it would be divisible by then it would be divisible by both 2 and 5. Okay, 2 and 5. Here we note that we note that prime factors of prime factors of 4 power n is 2 cross 2 power n as there is no prime factor 5 here as there is no 
prime factor 5 here in the factors of 4 in factors of 4 the factor is only 2 number 2 uniqueness of uniqueness of fundamental theorem of arithmetic fundamental theorem of arithmetic arithmetic says sorry guarantees guarantees that there is no other prime a fact prime factorization other than the prime factorization of 4 power n so therefore there is no number there is no number of no number for n such that our n ends with digit 0 okay this is the solution for this example number 5 we have to write down the solution like this for this example problem now next let us start with the example number 6 now let us start with the example number 6 the question is find the LCM and HCF of 6 and 20 by prime factorization method. So we have to factorize 6 and 20 and then we have to find the LCM and HCF. So 6 and 20. Let us factorize the number 6 first. 2 3s are 6. 3 1s are. If you take the number 20, 2 10s are 20. 2 5s are 10, 5 1s are. So, writing the factors here 6 is 2 into 3 and 20 is 2 into 2 into 5. So, this can be written as 2 square into 5. Always we have to write in the powers of primes and also we should write in the ascending order that is uh, from the lower number to the highest number of the prime factors. So, for the prime factors of 6 is 2 and 3. Now, we have to determine the LCM and HCF of um, 6 and 20. So, what is HCF and LCM? Let us see. See, the HCF is nothing but the product of smallest power of each common prime factors. We have to uh, find the common prime factors first of all. Here, what are the common prime factors of between 20 and 6 is? Here, 2 is the common prime factor. We have to take the lowest power of the common factor, which is nothing but the HCF. So, the HCF is 2 here. So, the HCF is, we have to take the least power of the common factor. Least power of the common factor. Now, coming to the LCM, if you see, LCM is nothing but the product of greatest power of each prime factor. LCM is the greatest power of the common factor. We have to take the greatest power of the common factor and also we have to take the factors which are not common. So, 5 and 3 are not common. So, what is the result here? 2 2 is a 4 into 5 into 3. So, this is nothing but 4, 5 are 20, 20 into 3 is 60. So, LCM is we have to take the greatest power of common factor and the factors which are not common and also the factors which are not, are not common. Okay. This is how we find the HCF and LCM by prime factorization method.
from the above example we can uh, obtain this formula which says for any two positive integers a and b hcf of a comma b into lcm of a comma b will give you a into b product of a into b from the above example what was the hcf of a, a and 6 comma 20 hcf of 6 comma 20 was 2 and what was lcm of 6 comma 20 LCM of 6 comma 20 was 60. Let us verify in this uh, formula. So what HC of A comma 20 is 2 into LCM of A comma 20 is 60 is equal to what is A? The two integers 6 into B is 20. Okay, for these two integers we have found the HC of an LCM. So 6 120 is equal to 120. So right hand side is equal to left hand side right. This is how we obtain the formula. We can derive this formula. Okay, therefore we can use this above result to find the LCM of A, comma B if HCF is already found for A and B. Okay, now let us go to the next example problem. The example number seven says find the HCF of 96 and 404 by prime factorization method. Hence find their LCM. So first we have to find the HCF of 96 and 404 so let us uh, factorize here 96 which is divided by the number 2 2 fours are 8 2 eights are 16 2 twos are 4 2 fours are 8 again 2 ones are 2 twos are so 2 six are 12 2 threes are 6 3 ones are so what are the factors of uh, 96 are 2 and 3 so 1 2 3 4 5 so 2 power 5 we can write it as into 3 now if you go to 4 not 4 again it is divided by 2 2 2 za so 0 comes down again 2 2 za again comes down 2 1 za so here it is not divisible by 2 if we take number 3 it is not divisible by number 3 also because 3 5 3 3 za 9 11 comes here it is not divisible by 3 if you take number 5, it is also not divisible by number 5 because uh, all, any number which ends with 0 or 5 is divisible by number 5. If you take number uh, 7 also, it is not divisible. If you take 7, 1s are 7. Uh, 31 will come as a remainder, which is again not divisible. So basically, 101 is a prime number. So we should take 109, 1s are. So writing the factors of 404 will be 2 square into 101. So we have to find HCF first. So to find the HCF we have to take what which are the common factors here 2 and 2 and which is the least power in both the, uh, in the common factor 2 is the least power. So 2 square is the HCF. So 2 2 is a 4. So we get HCF as 4. Now using this HCF, we have to determine the LCM by using that formula. The formula is HCF of A comma B is into LCM of A comma B is equal to A into B. Therefore, we can write here as HCF of 96 comma 404 into LCM of 96 comma 404 is equal to 96 into 404. Therefore, let us simplify LCM of 96 comma 404 is equal to 96 into 404 divided by what was the HCF of 96 comma 404 was 4. So, 2 2 is a 2 2 za, 2 1 za, 2 1 za. So multi multiplying 96 into 101, we get 6 1 za, 6, 6 0 za, 0. Again 6 1 za, 6 into 9 1 za, 9, 9 0 za, 0, 9 1 za, 9. So 6 9 6 9. So this is the LCM 9000. 696 this is the lcm and hcf of 
96 and 404. Now coming to the next example problem. The next example problem says find the HCF and LCM of 6, 72 and 120 using the prime factorization method. So let us factorize these numbers. First two threes are three ones are. If you take 72 again it is divisible by 2 so 2 3s are 6 carry 1 2 6s are 12 2 1s are carry 1 again 2 8s are 16 so 2 9s are now it is divisible by 3 3 3s are 3 1s are okay again let us factorize 120 so it is divisible by 2 2 6s are 12 0 comes down 2 3s are 6 again 0 comes down 2 1s are 2, carry 1, so 2 5s are 15. So now it is divisible by 3, 3 5s are 15, 5 1s are. So let us write factors for each. So 6 is 2 into 3. 72 factors will be 2 cube because 2 into 2 into 2 is 2 cube into 3 into 3 is 3 square. Then 120 factors are 2 into 2 into 2 is 2 cube into 3 into 5. So high, highest common factor that is HCF is which are the common factors? 2 is common between all the 3 numbers and 3 is also common between all the 3 numbers. So which is the least power here? 2 power 1 into again in 3, 3 power 1 is the least power for 3 so 2 into 3 is 6 is the HCF now coming to LCM we have to take the highest power of the common factors here uh, for 2 the highest power is 3 so 2 cube and for uh, prime factor 3 the highest power is square so 3 square into we have to take the other or factors prime factor which are also not common so 5 is not common so we will take here 5 so 2 cube is 2 2 are 4 4 2 are 8 into 3 square is 9 into 5 so 8 5 is 40 40 into 9 we get 9 0 is 0 4 9 is 36 therefore the LCM is 360 HCF is 6 and LCM is 360 or integers 6, 72 and 120. So with this we complete the example problems from the topic Fundamental Theorem of Arithmetic. In my next video I will be solving the exercise 8.2. So if you like my video please like, share and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell button below to get the latest updates of my videos.